Hey everyone, welcome back to the Urban Pharmacy Kitchen. It's me, Stacey Heidi, a holistic nutritionist, plant-based coach, and beauty mentor. I've got my sidekick, and I'm not supposed to introduce him. He's gonna introduce himself. He told me that that's what he wants to do, so. Hello, I'm Kelly. <laughs> You're going? Okay. okay, so we are going to make, what are we making today? Muffins. What kind? Zucchini muffins, and we are using one of the gargantuan zucchinis from our farm. If you don't know, we have an organic farm. We sell the produce at the local market, and it's a super fun time. But we've got a lot of zucchini, and usually the larger ones are better for muffins and bread, just because they can tend to be a little bit more tough. You can also take these, this the, this one I've already cut off each end, and you can make boats out of them and cut them in half and scoop out the inside and lay them with the cut side up and bake them and fill them up with like lentils and tomatoes, sun-dried tomatoes, and make like a savory stuffing and you can have stuffed zucchini boats. Then you can smother marinara sauce on top of it. It's so good, you should absolutely try it. Okay, but anyway, we are going to use zucchini today and we have to do, whoops, whoops. We have to do a little bit of preparation because this is going to have shredded zucchini that we are going to actually like wring out so that it gets less wet so that it makes a better baked good. Okay, so let's do that. We have our box grater. We can totally use um, the big side. You could use the big side to make larger shreds like this, if that's what you like. I think that that would be better for like a bread situation, but um, my sidekick is eating his pre-breakfast snack because he, he's gotta eat, you know what I mean? But I think, because your tummy hurts, because you're hungry. If you want a better texture and a better bite, use the fine shred blade on your box grater or on your food processor to make muffins. Again, with the bread, you could probably get away with the larger shred because you're gonna be cutting it up into pieces of bread. But when you take a bite of muffin, you don't want like big shreds of zucchini coming through. So Cohen is showing you a spice that we Around this morning fresh. What is that? Well, it's right there. The bag of it. Were you looking for the bag? Cardamom. It's black cardamom. And we got this at the international grocery store. Um, it's a very unique spice that is typically used in like pumpkin pie blends and apple pie spice blends. Um, it's very earthy, kind of like nutmeg, you know, has that very distinct flavor, but pairs very well with cinnamon. And we're gonna definitely put those into our muffin today. So I probably should have pre-shredded this before because this is taking forever, but it gives you a really great workout, great arm workout. And Mommy, why did you not put the, the, the holder? Because yeah. I'm smart like that. Why did you not put There's like a holder that goes to the bottom of this box grater. And it makes it, it catches all the stuff that you grind, you know, that you shred. Just awesome. Okay, we are aiming for about two cups of shredded zucchini after we squeeze it dry. So I'm gonna get one of our little tea towels here. This is just a tea Ready? towel from Ikea. They get, you know, we use them Ready? in the kitchen a lot. Yeah. Castle. Castle. Zucchini castle. Hold on, hold on. There's typically a lot that goes on the inside of this box grater. So what we're gonna do, is so we're gonna take this. Why we're gonna you take this. Why did you make a mess and not use the box? It's fine, it's fine. We're gonna take this and we're gonna put it onto our tea towel. You could use a nut milk straining bag. You could use lots of different things, but we're just gonna use this tea towel. I get these from Ikea. 
super affordable. And I'm just gonna wring it out over the sink to get the excess moisture out. And quite a bit of moisture comes out. Now you could totally use the rest of the, the liquid in like a soup base, that would be phenomenal and a way to not waste your vitamins and minerals that are coming out of the zucchini because it's essentially making like a zucchini juice, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, mine's going down the drain today, sadly. Okay, so I squeezed it out, lots of liquid came out, and now we have our wrung out zucchini in our bowl. All right. Oh, wow. I'm so used to, I used to work in bakeries, and I would just sweep all my food onto the floor because we would, <laughs> we would sweep so often. So if you ever watch me cooking and I'm like going really fast, you might find me going like this with all my crumbs because you just sweep right afterward. <laughs> kind of messy, kind of messy of me, but that's okay. Okay, is so. That, is that how bakeries did it? No, that's just how I did it in the bakery. <laughs> I made my own rules. Okay, so now we are going to was do it, some it, oats in the blender. Was it, was it only you? No, there was other people with me. We're going to take our whole oat, or not, they're not whole oats. I could take whole oats because I just bought some whole oat groats um, from my friend at Cold Brook Farms. Um, but anyways, we are going to use rolled oats, three cups, and we're just gonna make our own flour in our Vitamix. I love this stainless steel container for the Vitamix. Don't, 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 don't. Cohen's gonna stuff his face with raw oats. Okay. Anyways, um, I love this stainless steel Vitamix because you can put hot liquids in it and not have to worry about any plastics leaching into your food. Very important. So so I'm just gonna blitz this. I don't really want it to become like a super, super fine powder flour. I want it to be a little bit textured because that gives us just a better nutrient profile. Okay, so we have a little bit of a grind I'm making, here. I'm making oatmeal. Okay, so there's still some like big pieces of rolled oats and that's okay. We're just going to have slightly textured muffins, which is fine. It doesn't have to be like, you know, Entenmann's or Little Debbie because <laughs> we don't need that high of a glycemic rush. You know, the, the more fine your flour is, the higher your glycemic rush is going to be. So anyways, now we're going to toss in Baking soda, baking powder, and sour sauce. Here's another note. When you're making flour, make sure that you're doing it in a dried blender and not a blender that you use for a morning drink because the it's gonna stick in there. I wanna drink. Okay, now we're going to, we'll do a drink later. Now we're going to mix some of our wet ingredients and our sweet ingredients. So for that, we need a banana. Can you grab a banana, please? Where's the banana? I had gotten a banana out for this recipe. Here, how about you use this one? So we're gonna need a banana in the blender. Okay, you put that in, I'm gonna get the dates. We're gonna do a cup of Medjool dates. Medjool dates. Making a mess. Making a mess. Six four cups of 74 ingredients. Okay, 64 cups of 74 ingredients. All right, so about a cup of Medjool dates. He's I don't eating. get the ones that are already Oops, can you put that in the blender instead? Uh, I don't get the ones that already have the pits pulled out of them because I wanna inspect each date and make sure there's like no mold inside of them. You know what I mean? That is mold in that one. Where? Just kidding. You, you joker. Okay, so one cup of pitted, of pitted module dates into your blender, then we need some soy milk. More oats. Excuse you, excuse you. Um, we are going to do soy milk. Soy is actually cancer protective. Please look at the science. Organic always. Yeah, this is soy. No, it's not, that's oats. You can eat it. 
Okay. So we get the unsweetened organic soy from West Soy West Life. I think there's mm -hmm. another brand. There's a, maybe one other brand out there that doesn't have that is you know life estate free here to measure. Um, but it's cancer protective, especially against the hormonal cancers like breast cancer and prostate cancer. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. And. together before it hits the zucchini and you don't want like clumps of baking powder. Now I'm going to use burlap and barrel royal cinnamon, best cinnamon ever. I'm using about a tablespoon of that. I will link that because it's like my fave. Uh, the best, like he tested for heavy metals, like small farms, amazing spices, amazing spices. We get a lot of spices from burlap and barrel. And they have a lot of salt free versions as well, which we really appreciate. Okay, and then we ground that fresh cardamom. That's enough going. That's hard on the blender. Okay, so, yeah, you were, you were pulsing it. Okay, now we're gonna mix this all together. You gotta, where's the big, where's the stirrer? We need a stirrer. That cardamom, oh my gosh, it's so strong. It's so strong. Uh, it smells like essential oils. It does. It smells like essential oils. Yeah. Okay. Oh. It's so strong. Okay. So we're just kind of tossing around. Okay. 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 Get that all kind of coated. Careful, don't to not to flick it out of the bowl. Is there raisins in here? No. You could put raisins in it though. Sweet stuff. Ooh, this is a good idea, or the good time to use my new little spatula. Okay. I got this fancy Vitamix spatula from the National Health Association conference that we go to every year. It's amazing. They have a kids program. The kiddos get to make yummy, healthy, delicious plant-based foods. You love the kid program, yeah? They get to go swimming. Hi do different activities it's while the parents are learning about nutrition, nutrition science, and yes, we just love it. Lots of our favorite doctors are always there. Excuse me. Excuse me. Cohen's going to be up on that stage one day cooking. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. Okay. So I'm going to stir it because we're going, we're going to get it all incorporated. Yeah. And you need to get the muffin liners. Can you go get that? We got new little muffin, fancy little muffin liners. So look at those. They're the tulip ones. The tulip muffin liners here. Now, I also suggest that you get yourself a, I already got one, honey. I already got it out. You get yourself a ice cream scoop. Nope. Did I not already get it out? Well, that's the one I meant to get out. You get yourself an ice cream scoop like Cohen has to make perfect, you know, like measurements of muffins into your muffin cups. And mommy, what? Why, why, why are we not using this one for our, um, what do they call it? I don't know. The things, uh, Our ice cream cones? Yeah. We can. We got an ice cream cone maker. For and, my birthday. And I'm trying to perfect you know, a whole food, plant-based, oil-free, sugar-free 
even gluten-free if you wanted it to be. Cone recipe. Okay, let's check. I need to see something. Oh, I I'll let you do it. We're going to just see how it plops in there. Okay. Because all of these little pointy things, kind of hard to get. But we're just going to scoop. Okay. And we'll come back when these are done and show you the finished product. This is going to be delicious and nutritious. And we can't wait to eat them. Okay, welcome back. The muffins have cooked. They have not completely cooled, but we have been savages and eating them. Four of them clearly are already gone. Um, so delicious, so easy, so nutritious. A wonderful way to get your kiddos some more fiber in their diet. Plus, these are perfect for adults too. So. Yummy, fresh zucchini. What do you think about the cardamom? Do you think that that makes the flavor the best? I mean, Cohen is like, oh yeah. Can you taste it? Not too much, not too much. Should we add more next time? I don't know what it tastes like. Well, kind of like cinnamon, sort of. Yeah. Just like an herb, like a spice. Can you, can you tell that there's like a special spice in there? Something different? They're so hot, yeah. they're, not, they're sticking to the, the cupcake liners because I haven't let them cool. But they're so good. You've got to try this recipe. Don't be like me. You know, put them on a cooling rack. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect fiber, soluble fiber to help coat your mucosal layer so you have better gut bacteria and better immune strength better gut microbiome health. Okay, cheers, we're gonna go eat these muffins. Have a great day, get more plants on your plate, and we'll see you soon. Be well. Hot.